to be going into the next section so I'm so excited about this. Uh, but I just wanted to get this one in. Um, it's one that I do every month so you'll all probably be aware of which one it is by now. Um, I've actually had it for a couple of days uh, but I've been a little bit busy over the last few days. It's actually uh, my birthday tomorrow which is why I'm doing this video now um, but obviously there's been quite a few things that I've needed to do, people that have wanted to kind of catch up with me and, and things like that. So um, this is kind of my first opportunity to, <clears throat> excuse me, to um, get this unboxing done. Uh, and I'm really excited to do it, as I always am. It's the Natural Beauty Box. For those of you who aren't yet aware of this, um, it's a subscription box that sends you natural beauty products, which are cruelty free and very often vegan, organic and plastic free as well. So here is the box itself. So very kind of inconspicuous, just with the little logo sticker in the corner there. They tend to let to let the contents do the talking, which is absolutely fine by me. Um, so let's get this opened up. Now every month there is a theme, and for February the theme is FaceTime. So obviously all of the products included are going to be for the face, which is great. So let's open this all out and move this out of the way just so that we can see everything when I hold it up for you. So here's the box itself. So there are five items in there, but one of them is kind of tucked away um, down at the bottom there. So we'll get straight into this. So I've only seen a couple of spoilers this time. So um, there's a few items in here that I didn't know were going to be in here, which is always nice. Um, so what we'll do is we'll get straight into it and we'll go with the first item that kind of caught my eye, which is a brand that is quite new to me. I've, I've heard of them, but I've never tried any of their products before. And it's the Marina Miracle Herbal Face Oil. Now this has a retail price of £36. Uh, which is more than the cost of the box itself. So this is a multi-award winning, nutritious, moisturising and balancing facial oil with Scandinavian herbs. It doesn't leave the skin oily, so it sinks in quickly to give you soft, balanced skin with a healthy glow. And it does say that you need to shake it before use. So it's also dermatologically tested, 80% organic, vegan and cruelty free and 100% natural ingredients. So let's have a look inside so here is the bottle so you can actually see i'm not sure if that comes across on camera but there's two layers to it so you've got kind of a lighter layer at the top there and then this bottom bit here where the bottle looks darker that looks like it's a bit more of a thicker layer on top so if you were to kind of shake that it then kind of combines together to make a little bit more of a cloudy sort of uh, liquid which I guess is why they ask you to shake it before use so I'm just going to see if there's any more information on the packaging itself uh, it's in Norwegian which is helpful ah uh, there we go a nutritious facial oil with Scandinavian herbs jojoba avocado red raspberry and aloe vera that provides deep moisture the skin becomes soft balanced and healthy and it is let's have a look 30 millilitres but to be fair with oils as I've said before you don't tend to need to use a lot of them you only really and with it being a dropper as well obviously you just drop a couple of usually two or three is more than enough for an oil because they're so rich they apply really um really easily so you won't need a lot so even though 30 millilitres is still quite a lot that'll last for, for quite a while particularly because I only tend to use facial oil uh, at night I don't tend to use it during the day um, just because I find it a little bit too heavy on my skin uh, particularly to, to put makeup on top of if I'm going to be wearing any um, so I tend to use a serum in the day and then an oil at night just because that kind of works and then it's got obviously an overnight to absorb into my skin and I tend to wake up with much kind of softer, healthier looking skin for the day after. So that's what I'll be doing with this. Um, I'll be using this overnight um, and I'll give it a good old try. Obviously shaking it before, but that is item number one. So this next one, this is actually a brand that I am familiar with. And I've tried before. I've tried one of their oils before, actually one of their facial oils. 
um, and this is Wild Tree Skincare and it's their Gentle Lash Oil which is worth £15. So this helps to thicken and lengthen lashes with nourishing almond oil and it also contains uh, vitamin E, calcium and magnesium to hydrate each lash to make them stronger. So again you apply this at night before you go to bed. I've tried similar uh, products before from other brands um, and had kind of mixed results from them, I'm not going to lie. Um, there was one in particular that I found pretty good, to be fair, in terms of at least conditioning the lashes and making them a lot healthier. So I sometimes get the um, semi-permanent lash extensions, which to be fair, you know, they can sometimes cause a little bit of damage to your natural lashes. Um, so I do tend to have a little bit of a break between having applications rather than keeping having them every single time um, but what i found was the lash oils uh, were really good for that kind of in between time of kind of conditioning them and, and getting them back to full strength to be able to then support the new set of lash uh, extensions not tried this particular one before so obviously the jury is out on this i have again tried a few of their items before so and i did really like them so hopefully that will be the case this time as well um, I'm just having a look to see if there's any other information on here. It's vegan and natural and it's 20 millilitres. But again, with it being a dropper, it should be easy enough to get um, the amount that you need. I must say, must say with this kind of thing, I usually do prefer a little bit more precision application, like maybe a pen style application for it. But with this, you could probably pop a couple of drops on your fingers and then just kind of, you know, rub it along. So I will definitely give this a go. I have been looking for a new lash oil and now I don't have to. So that's always a bonus that's item number two we then have another brand that i've used uh, a couple of their products before in fact i think i'm currently using one of their shower gels um and it's organic works and it's their daily hydration super intensive moisturizer which is worth 23 pounds so this is perfect for using in winter which obviously it still is, but we are kind of, it's feeling a little bit more now the storms have gone, hopefully. Um, it's feeling a little bit more like spring might be sort of coming into the air a little bit. Um, but this is packed with nourishing and soothing plant butters and oils to hydrate and keep the skin soft and smooth. You can use it morning or night as it's not too heavy and it sinks in quickly. So I've used one of their moisturizers before and I really liked it. Um, I love the applicator itself, so it's kind of a little, again, pump dispenser, but it's a little bit of a different type of pump dispenser. Um, this one has vitamin E, cocoa butter and chamomile flower extract. It's vegan, cruelty-free, organic, and it's suitable for sensitive skin as well. So let's have a look on here. Um, so reveal your natural beauty with a rich blend of cocoa and shea butter, jojoba and grapeseed oil to intensively moisturise your skin. And it is, I'm just going to see if I can find, it's 50 millilitres. But again, with this, tend to only need to use a pea-sized amount. And again, as it says here, it's quite a rich one. So it's perfect for the winter months without it being too heavy. And I did find that last time with the other one as well. It was a nice rich one. So I only need like a pea-sized amount of it. And that was more than enough to cover my whole face, which meant it lasted quite a while. And um, so there is item number three. Now we have, oh, another brand that I've um, tried before, only very recently though, in the last sort of 18 months. I think I was introduced to them by this box or it was maybe another one that I've also unboxed here, but I've definitely received items from them in this box before. But it's Lady Green Paris and it's their anti-blemish gel pen. Now this is worth £11.80 and this is a quick and effective care against blemishes with soothing aloe vera, neem and burdock. So it's good for on the go, obviously you can slip it into your handbag. Um, let me just have a look at the actual applicator. <clears throat> so it's got obviously, um, you twist it um, at the bottom and it comes through there's a little hole in here you probably can't see because the lighting's not great um, but there's a little hole in the top of this which it will poke through and obviously you can just dab it onto straight onto the spot um, which again kind of gets rid of the risk of contamination as well obviously if you're touching your face and and all that sort of thing you can apply this straight on so this dries purifies and soothes and it's 99% ingredients of a natural origin, which is always good. And the reason this box exists, um, it looks like it's, yeah, it's, it's made in France. It's a four milliliters, but obviously it's all in there. And again, with, with this sort of thing, because it's a topical 
um, treatment rather than something that you're putting all over your face, you probably won't need a lot of it every time. Um, so this is probably going to last quite a long time. I will say with blemishes and things, touch wood, I've been quite good recently. I haven't really had a problem. Um, you will probably know from uh, a few videos that I've done in the past, I had a bit of a reaction to some medication that I was put on uh, back in 2020, uh, which did result in some hormonal acne, which is something that I've never ever struggled with. You know, I've never really struggled with acne or spots at all. You know, I'd get the odd one or two, particularly around that time of the month but it was never really a massive problem for me. So to go from having no issues with my skin to all of a sudden just having this huge breakout over my face, and it probably was quite mild compared to what some people experience, I appreciate that. Um, but for me, it was a lot and it was a massive change and it happened practically overnight as well. Um, so it's nice to have things like this on standby when you do have a spot or two. Um, but I am also using prescription skincare, um, which is helping to kind of keep things at bay. I use that overnight. So this is probably only something I would use during the day so that it didn't kind of interact with that at all. Um, but it's definitely something I could keep in my handbag and take on the go if I did have a spot. Um, and with it being natural, more than happy to give it a try. So that's item number four. And then finally, another item by Lady Green. It's their limited edition Rose Heart Conjac Sponge and it's worth £7.89. So this refines the pores, exfoliates the skin, and it contains rose to soften and tone, and it's gentle and effective and also biodegradable. So I've got a few of these contract sponges, um, and I do really like them. I was a little bit skeptical at first, and they're really hard when you actually feel them, uh, but when you add water, they soften, um, and they become like a sponge in essence. Um, and then obviously you can use them to um, to clean your face. So I use it to remove uh, foaming cleansers, balm cleansers, and even things like face masks as well. Um, and then you leave them to dry and they harden back up again. Um, so I've got a few of them now and I actually do really like them, but they're obviously, as with any product, there's limited use. So even though you can use it over and over again, there's it gets to a point where it starts to get a little bit kind of worse to wear and, and tatty. Um, so I've got one on the go at the minute. So I won't be using this straight away, but obviously it's good to know that I have this one available when my when the one I'm currently using gets a little bit sort of beyond that point where it's um, usable anymore. So very happy to have another one of these and another product by Lady going to try because I've really liked everything else of theirs so far. And I like that it's heart shaped, obviously, because of February and Valentine's Day. So there's the final item, item number five. So in terms then of the prices and everything, um, you can pay, there's a few different ways that you can pay for this box. So there's a monthly roll-in subscription, which is the one that I have, and that's £24.95 a month. And when you think the total value of the box this month is £93.69, and you're only paying £24.95 for it. I mean, what can you say to that really? You, you cannot argue with the, with the value there. Um, three month prepay is £71.10 and six month prepay is £138. If you want to give the box a try before you commit to a subscription or you've seen a particular, um, particular edit or edition that you like and you just want to buy that particular box, you can do that. You can purchase a one-off box and that will cost you £25.95. What you can also do if you maybe can't commit every month um, but you would like to subscribe, they do a bi-monthly edition, so every two months. And again, you would pay £24.95 but just every two months instead of every single month. What they also do as well is every quarterly issue, uh, issue, edition, <laughs> I guess you could say issue as well if you wanted, but every quarter they have a plastic free edit. Um, so if you are somebody that is trying to kind of cut down on the amount of single use plastics that you're using um, and you just want to subscribe for those specific plastic free boxes, you can also do that. And again, that's £24.95 for every quarter. They also have lucky dip boxes on their website. Not always, um, these are sometimes out of stock. However, these cost £12.95 and these usually contain 
three or four items from past boxes so again if you're somebody that maybe wants to dip your toe in a little bit um, and give it a try before you commit to a full subscription or if you want to get one for, as a gift for somebody the lucky dip box is a really good way to go um, particularly if you know you're not too fussed about um, getting a particular month's box or a, a particular theme because the the lucky dip boxes aren't necessarily themed they're just made up of items from previous boxes um, and I say usually three or four. I've had a couple of the Lucky Dip boxes before and I've really liked them. So I would happily do that again, particularly um, if, uh, particularly, you know, if there's any items that I maybe uh, want to try again and hope, <laughs> hope I would get them in my Lucky Dip. What they were doing as well, I'm not sure if they are still doing this or not. I'm hoping they are and I'm hoping they're going to make this a permanent thing, uh, but they were offering pick and mix boxes. Now, I know there's a lot of subscriptions that are offering this or are starting to offer this kind of um, service as well. But basically, if you pay £15, you can pick three items from a list of choices. And if you pay £20, you can pick four. So obviously that gives you a little bit more freedom and choice as to what you receive in your box if you're somebody that doesn't necessarily like surprises or wants specific items rather than kind of the lucky dip side of things. All of those options do come with free delivery within the UK. Um, and as I say, it's my favourite box. I've been getting it for uh, two, three years. I don't even know it's been that long, <laughs> um, but I've never been, never been disappointed with it. So let's have a recap of the February FaceTime edition of Natural Beauty Box. So we had the Lady Green, uh, this is a limited edition as well, Rose Heart Conduct Sponge. This is where I've got to get everything back in now. And the Lady Green uh, Anti Blemish Gel Pen. There was the Organic Works Super Intensive Moisturiser. The Wild, Green, Wild Tree sorry, Skincare um, Lash Oil. And finally, the Marina Miracle Herbal Facial Oil. So five items that you can use on your face. It fits the theme perfectly, as they always do. I've never had a box where I've kind of opened it and been like, well, the theme's this, why is this item included? Everything's kind of fitted perfectly with what the theme is intending to do. And again, the total value this time is £93.69, which is mind-blowing. I think that's one of the highest value boxes I've ever had from them. Um, and I think that's partly down to the fact that the facial oil um, and the moisturiser, the facial moisturiser, are both quite high value items and um, but also the the lash oil is quite high value as well so that's everything that was in the box i'm not going to bore you by waffling on about this box as i usually do you all know by now how i feel about it how it's my favorite and how it's never let me down um really impressed with all of the items again there's a good mixture of brands i know and brands i don't um or brands i haven't at least tried before and because they're all for the face it's something that you could maybe use all as a little routine as well. So let me know what you think of this month's box. If you've subscribed, let me know what your favourite item is. If you haven't subscribed, let me know which item you would be most interested in. As always, I will be posting a review of this box on my blog in the next few days once I've had a chance to try a few of the items out. And the pictures and things will of course be going onto Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, etc. Um, as we're going along as well already looking forward to March's edition. Um, I always kind of stalk their Instagram to see what the reveals are. So they always reveal the theme and at least a couple of the items that are going to be in the box. Um, and I'm usually the one of the first ones to see it and, and click like on there. Um, really, yeah, really happy with everything. Again, there's not an item in there that I've looked at and thought, oh, I'm not going to get use out of that, which seems to be the case with most of the boxes. Most of the boxes I've sort of looked at and thought, yeah, I can make use out of everything, which is another rarity with subscriptions. So, I mean, I wouldn't have been subscribing for that long if, um, <laughs> if I'd had, you know, any major problems with it anyway. But that is everything. Thank you very much for watching. I'm just trying to get it shut as I'm talking to you. Um, and hopefully I will see you all soon for another unboxing. Bye.